Testing, testing. Michael Wickerson here at Wickerson Studios. Currently, I am highlighting what I'm offering on my Patreon on three different tiers. Learning Rhino with Grasshopper, Learning Grasshopper with Plugins, and Learning Python with Grasshopper and Hops. And that's going to tap into Visual Script Studio and GitHub Copilot. What I have here on the post, which is open and you can read through, is Learning Python with Grasshopper Hops. I uh, definitely need to set up the dependencies. Download and install Anaconda. Uh, that'll be the first thing you download. Um, you'll have to download Visual Studio, uh, and I have Visual Studio up and running here. Uh, you'll have to download it uh, in Rhino, the actual Hops node over here. You'll make sure you have the Hops plugin. And then uh, you will want to make sure you have CPython 3.10 or higher. I do recommend getting CMake 3.22 or higher because I was told to do that or else I might have trouble a year ago. I don't know if you need it. I am using Flask, so it's recommended you download that. And you need to download and clone the repository from um, uh, GitHub, which is uh, Rhino Compute. You'll have to download this entire repo. Just go and save the whole file. Make sure you have the package, and we're going to use it a little later. Um, back over here uh, to where I was, you then, to get things up and running, you will go into Anaconda. You will op launch a PowerShell prompt and type in pip install grasshopper server flask. So you will go in. Open Grasshopper, uh, sorry, I just opened another one. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It's going to take a little second. But basically, you open Anaconda just like this after you get it downloaded. I don't need that one to open. What I do want is to jump in and see the one I had open. Let me close that one out. Okay, just jumping around a little bit here. I should have it running here. And I just opened it again because I keep hitting my wrong icon. I had it set up here on the right. Pain in the butt. Uh, this is the one you want. You want to open a prompt. When the prompt opens, you'll be... Oh, this is so fun to do all this. Uh, you should have a window as you go in, but maybe I'll just open another prompt now in order to show what opens up. And immediately this opens, and what you'll have to type in to get things up and running are pip install ghops underscore server flask, and it will load up everything you need. And there you go. Mine's already loaded, so I don't have to worry about it. It'll go through and process. Then, after you get, I do not want that one open. That one's OK. Um, you will open Visual Studio right here. You will go to Folder, and you will file. You will find where you put the Rhino Compute. Go into the SRC, uh, SRC file, the source file. Go to ghhop server py. Open the examples in the folder in the bottom right. Then go to your Explorer and Visual Studio Code and make sure you're looking at the app PY, which is a nice test app to get you up and running and making hop scripts. So let's just take a look in Visual Studio and see what I did. I went in here. I went into File. I went into Open Folder. I went onto my desktop. I found where I had this. I went to the source file. I went into the GH Hop server PY. I clicked examples. I selected that folder to open it. It would have opened then, and I'll go into my Explorer tab and make sure I'm looking at app PY. And keep everything you need in here as you develop. Uh, add this in here in case you want to do icons and things like that. So that's enough to get started. And then you are ready to script with hops. Open Rhino 7, which is where I go after that. Let's see what it says. Install the Hops plugin, which you've already done. You can install it from the Package Manager and drag and drop it into the com into there as much as you want. Um, so let's take a look over there and see what's happening. Basically, I can drag and drop this in anytime I want. I can have this ready to follow a path back to here. So I'm going to just leave this for a second, have a script running. I'm just going to clear this down here. It's about the only command that I type in there. I will go up here, hit Command Save, F5 to run, and I will have this little URL path I can copy. Uh, Control C, double click over here, follow the path to that. You will have to put down a forward slash and then any name of anything you put in here. So if I did find files, if I went in here and said I said absolute real path, copy that and add it, that's going to jump as long as this a Visual Studio Code is up and running. You can see I can make that note immediately, which just has an output, which is going to run a program over in the terminal um, only. Uh, the other thing I've suggested over here is that you do want to go in and ensure that you have your terminal open, open a new terminal window, so down here you can see what's going on. 
Anyway, you can drag and drop as many of these in as you want, as many functions as you have, and you can run them as many times as you want. I think you can use them up to 10 times within the same script iteratively. So pretty exciting stuff. Let's go back over and see what was said there. That's exactly what I said. Open the terminal in Visual Studio Code, run using F5, copy the URL code. This is the one that mine comes up, uh, and I guess this is kind of the path of 5,000. I can't remember what that's called. Uh, paste that into the hops node. It's a forward slash and then the name of that hops component. It's that easy. Drag and drop as many hops components you need and add the Python 3 to your GH Canvas interface and start designing. And that's what that's all about. So continuing right along, I have this all supported by three different series um, on uh, learning Rhino and Grasshopper, learning Grasshopper plugins and learning Python for Grasshopper and hops. And I'm going to be basically writing this entire script from scratch uh, to get us up and running getting people thinking about learning Python from using Grasshopper Hops and getting a beautiful, um, wonderful large script in here. So if I zoom out of this, which is what I have open, this is the script I'm going to start that's going to basically learn Python all the way through. And I've got about six chapters left to go. So you can learn Python directly by daily tutorials or weekly tutorials in this section. I think I'm going to focus on that $15 tier 3 level because that's where it's most exciting to start getting creative. Instead of bringing in simple inputs like strings and outputting strings, you can start bringing in obviously numbers, floats, booleans, but you can extend that to the Rhino 3DM geometry. Start bringing in points, start bringing in curves, start bringing in surfaces, and start outputting things that are manipulated in functions that transform that. Uh, that's where my head's wrapping around, and that's what I'm most excited to do. Let's go back over here and see what else I had planned. Um, I'm going to be using Twitch Live all the time, even though I don't record my Twitch Live, but that's a nice time to jump into chat like I'm doing right now. Actually, I'm not streaming right now, but this is kind of recording what that would end up looking like. Uh, my GitHub's going to have everything in, except I am going to slowly creep over to Python and do this for the people that are actually supporting it because it's ending up being, a, I don't know, about 60 more hours a week of work for me, and I wouldn't mind uh, finding a balance in my life of when I can have time to do it. I am supporting it all on Facebook groups. I have tons of Facebook groups that I host and administer, and I'm running all this information out to people in the C script nodes and Grasshopper, C Visual Studios, Grasshopper Scripting, GH Python Remote Plugins, GH Python Script Pythons, Python 3.0 Server, Flask Host Grasshopper, and Grasshopper 2.0. I usually send a lot of things to Zero to Hero, even though I don't administer that site. I think I help with that site. Um, then back over here, this is really the McNeil's Compute from last year, 2021, New York City. You want to start that hard and fast at the 1 hour, 48 minutes, and 56 second mark and watch that for an hour and you will find everything I've just said outlined for you because that's where I learned it all from. And there's another example of where you can go. Just type in Rhino Compute dot compute or compute dot rhino 3d and you'll get this repo that you can actually download and get up and running so please join me uh, i will be adding these videos and i will start to make the videos as they get more complex and weekly scheduled uh private throughout the patreon but for now everything is open source i'm trying to get people enticed and really excited about using this and getting creative in their own designs and uh, what they might end up using python for in grasshopper to jazz things up that's about it uh Please enjoy yourself, read through the instructions, pairing these instructions with this video, you should be able to get everything up and running pretty smooth. So that is all, look for me on Twitch, and I think if I jumped in there and I started streaming, you could see what it looks like. Uh, the page will be basically here as well. All right, thanks again for watching, Michael Wickerson at Wickerson Studios.